Check it, check it, microphone. Hey guys. Hello, hey everybody. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. We don't have this room for too long because at uh, seven o'clock there's a stormtrooper <laughs> fest in this room. So, so we got a hard out. They're gonna kick us out because there's gonna be a bunch of stormtroopers. <laughs> um, so that was it. That was the reel. Uh, pretty much you get the story of season six. You see where it's going, right? It's mostly us laughing at the camera and being pleased with ourselves. Me yelling bloopers and bleepers. <laughs> Should we introduce these two fellas? Right? Yeah. Is that how? What are yeah. you? You're the moderator, aren't you? Yeah, moderate I this shit. So. Moderate <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to. Hi, uh, everybody. Thank you for coming to the Children's Hospital panel. My name is Nick Weidenfeld. I... Uh, Used to be in development at Adult Swim, uh, and he got sitting, fired. And I got fired. And Sexual <laughs> scandal. <laughs> Don't ask. And he's but an I, alcoholic. And my uh, and addicted to pills. <laughs> and I was there from the beginning of Children's Hospital. I was the executive producer for seasons one through four. Until he got a little handsy with an intern. <laughs> and addicted to pills. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, all of that is is true. Um, and sitting next, so I was asked last night to, uh, to moderate this. I was on my way to uh, by Lego. By pills. By pills. <laughs> I was on my way to Legoland uh, when the guy next to me over here, Mike Lazo, who is the head of Adult Swim, uh, responsible for everything and why we're all. He is so comfortable with applause. He's so, so comfortable with it. So, so Mike Lazo uh, does not like to be here, does not want to be here, <laughs> has avoided every year that I work there from being here. He's never, he never has come here. He said, uh, please, would you do this? I, I don't want to moderate this. Um, and so I said, I, I guess so. Let, uh, me, let me get some more pills, but I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I said, OK, who's going to be on the panel? And they said, just, just two really, uh, just two guys. What about all the hot girls on the panel? And I said, what about all the hot girls on the panel? Nope. And he said, nope. nope. Just the two buffoons. So, so uh, the, my two favorite Robs are here. And my hope is, is that they're going to carry most of this because uh, neither of us, uh, Elazo's not going to talk for the rest of this. And uh, I have, that's as much of this season as I have seen. I was involved. Uh, from the beginning, I was there uh, when these guys won Emmys uh, for what they did. Uh, and then he told an intern, hey, I'm a producer on this show. <laughs> yeah. you come into my trailer. Yeah, why don't you have my trailer and show me your dick? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Um, so... Uh, By the way, I'm sorry if you brought your child to Yeah, this. my child, my child is, uh, my child wife no, and mother about, are all I don't care all about your there. child, I care about their children. <laughs> Your child can handle this. So, um, well, yeah. So this is uh, season six of an of a, an incredible show, and I think one of historic in that it started, as a lot of us know, as very uh, sh short things on a website called what is it? WB 2.0? Is that what it was? Yep. And um, it was we're, a time we're where part of the Warner Brothers family. That's right. So we saw that. Like Batman. Yep. <laughs> and said, let's make a TV show out of this. And so it was kind of epic from the beginning, even when it was online. But I'm interested in what, you know, standing outside, seeing this reel, I said to Rob, uh, this is incredible. Uh, it, it must have gotten much better since I left. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Something improved the second you <laughs> and left. And he says, this is the best. He said, this is the best season, definitely, without question. So. How is it the best season? Explain. Um, well, there was a lack of sexual harassment on set yeah. without you around. I didn't have to show my wiener to anyone. Honestly, I think that, that intern. we just, uh, we, every season we say, all right, we're going to write all the episodes before we start shooting, and we never do it, and then everything suffers. Um, and then, so this year, we said the same thing and then actually tried to enact a plan so that would happen, and we did. And then everything seemed to go well, like perfectly, very smoothly. Uh, and so I guess that's the secret. Just don't, 
Don't be a lazy jerk. Um, am I drinking that? We don't know if that's water. No, I'm going to touch it. I can't believe you even poured it into your... Government's trying to poison yeah. us. <laughs> Get rid of that shit. When you... When, uh, when you started doing this, I don't know if you still did this for this season, so what Rob would do to write is he would take a train, a really, really long train ride, right? <laughs> we, Explain yeah, we, the writing process and if it's the same. What do you do? We take a train across country. It's called we, the snow piercer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it goes the speed of light. <laughs> um, no, it's an Amtrak train that we uh, slept on and rode on, and uh, this year, we, it was the first year we didn't do it because uh, scheduling, I think. It's a great story, huh? Oh. Well, it seemed like it was going to be a lot better. Any <laughs> questions about scheduling? <laughs> I, um, guess the, I guess the part that would have been exciting is that you, you sometimes alone, sometimes with, was once with Wayne, maybe? Uh, David Wayne, John Stern. Um, Jason Manzoukas. Jason Manzoukas was producing on a sh on You the may show. know him as Rafi from The League. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was a producer for a couple seasons until he molested an intern as well and got fired. Lot, do never, never bring your children to our set. A lot of sexual hijinks <laughs> going around there. Um, and uh, yeah, that was, uh, I think that was about it. So who wrote, on, uh, who, wrote this who wrote on this season? Oh, well, this season, for the first time, we had a writer's room. So real real, real <laughs> oh, outside writers. <laughs> like like oh. grown-up professionals. Yeah. Um, so we had a writer's room full of... We, we decided to do the show. I know we took a little hiatus. That's so we could do the, shoot the show in the summer when no one was busy and, and none of the writers had jobs so we could exploit them and pay them very, very little. Um, and so we got a team of uh, very, very professional network style writers, and, and I was in the room, and John Stern was in the room, and David was also in the room when he could be. And uh, someone from Parks and Rec wrote an episode. Oh, Megan Amram from Parks uh, and from Rec. Parks and Rec. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was It was amazing. But the, that's the, the secret. Just do that. Write it ahead of time helps. Write it ahead of time. In other words, that's the lesson. Yeah, that's the lesson. Of season six. And that's it for lessons. I think no actually more one lessons. of our two of our writers might be here. Colton and Abood. Michael Colton and John Abood right Those there guys. waving. Those guys are gonna get laid. Stand up. Get ready you for dumb dumbs. Endless sex, you yeah. two. Yep. Yep. There's a guy in the front row taking a picture of you guys in the back row. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's going to be a terrible picture. Will you picture. send me a copy of that picture? Cool. I'll give you my real email address. No, I won't. I'll give it to you right now. I know his email. No, don't give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so close <laughs> that I'm giving that up. Please don't do that. Um, so tell me uh, something else you said outside you were so excited about was guest stars on this season. There's a lot. So many and so good that we do. We have the list. Uh, we have, we my wrote phone, them down. my phone died, but but <laughs> we didn't do. Oh I mean, God. you saw a lot of them in that clip yeah, reel. Yeah, you pretty much saw them. Keen right Peel, uh, Robert Forrester, Nathan Fielder, uh, Julie yeah. Bowen, Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic, Chris Parnell. That's right. From Archer. Um, oh, Archer, you've heard of that? Sorry, I'm sorry. I got. I got. This guy's I got doing dis commentary. I got distracted here, Rob. I got distracted. Look at what's happening. The head of adult <laughs> Mike Lazo is playing a game. Yeah, he's playing a game. All right. If we can't keep you entertained, how the f <laughs> Whatever you need to be comfortable. I, I don't just care. Wanted to well, say, let's tell anecdotes. It. Let's tell anecdotes from the season. Well, yep. okay. Great question, Nick. Great, Thank you. Great <laughs> well, question. One thing that was really <laughs> that happened. Uh, we had to shoot one day with a baboon. And yeah. uh, has anyone here ever worked with a real live baboon? It's terrifying because, as you know, they can rip your face off. And the trainer came in and told us um, it was a female uh, baboon. And he said, um, don't look her, don't stare. You can look at her, but don't stare at her. And I was, it was me and Ken Marino and Cordry in the room with this monkey who has superhuman strength and he so says don't stare at her and so my question is well where does the line between looking and staring yeah. 
where do we put line? where do we put our eyes? Yeah. So basically, we would just do the scene like the monkey was looking at us, and I would just be like <laughs> looking <laughs> over here. Yeah. And then you look back, at the, and the monkey was dressed up like Chief, like Megan Mullally, and she was just sitting there at a computer typing like this. And then when she would do it right, they would give her like Doritos or yeah. something. It was really depressing because uh, monkeys should not be eating Doritos. No, there was Gatorade and Doritos that this monkey was getting. So it will be probably dead within a year or so anyway. It's being poisoned. Yeah, so if you ever work with a baboon, just be sure to eat Feed it baboon food. Yeah, feed it baboon food and don't look at it for too long. Yeah, yeah you can look at it, but don't stare at it. Yeah. Unless you want to have sex with a baboon. So Who here has ever had sex with a baboon? <laughs> There's like a bunch of six-year-olds in the back going, what is this panel again? Colton and a boot <laughs> clowns. Um, given all the guest stars, and this has been asked in the past, like who would you want to have on? And now you're six seasons in, you had everyone on. Is there someone that you've wanted on that turned you down that you, you <laughs> yeah. would like to call Hundreds out? Hundreds of people. <laughs> Like, who, did you have something really, really good? You had a really good bit for someone, and they're like, no. Well, I thought it was really funny in season two when Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters came on the show and was the nicest person in the world but had no idea what the show was. And to his credit, was so lovely, but he was like, yeah, I don't know what the show is. My agent said it was funny, so that's why I'm here. Yeah. I thought that was cool. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Ghostbusters, um, that's a good movie. I, I don't remember who... I don't remember who turned us down. There's so many people. Like, name an actor. Yeah, name one. Anyone? Who? Jack Black. Jack Black. <laughs> he probably, if we offered anything to him, it didn't even make it to his ears, I'm sure. <laughs> Mel Gibson would. That's, that's not, racist. Not at the top that's of racist. our list. That's racist. Who said Mel Gibson? You get out of here, get you racist. Get out of here. You son of a bitch. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Gary Shanley. Gary That'd be great. That'd be a good one. That is That's a pretty a good, good call. one. Was that Gary Shanley? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Mm. Okay, all right. That's enough all with right. the names. So, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to keep this going. I'm yeah, right? Thinking, you I'm are a terrible the, moderator. I, I, I was on a roll for a while. Just the Which worst. Which part were you on a roll? <laughs> <laughs> You're just the pits at this. Is this, is Nick the worst moderator you've seen all day, show of hands? Yeah, yeah. This is why you don't do pills. Uh, That's what I'm telling you. Don't do pills. Don't do sure, pills. Sure, they're delicious, but your mind gets mushy. Keep okay. it in your pants. Keep it in your pants. Well, should we take questions well, from the well, audience uh, then? Well, yeah. And Before we, we take questions, I, have, I do have one last question. Yes. Given that you have so many people now on this, something you've said in the past, because a lot of people think, wow, this is re you have all these amazing actors, they're amazing improv guys, that there's some riffing that happens. And you've made a point of saying in the past, you know, this is a really, really tightly written show. I mean, you can tell. It's like the jokes, the, how much content, how, many, how much you fit into 11 minutes is pretty incredible. Has that, is, has that opened up at all? Or is it really, it's like, it's what's oh. on the page? No, we've always allowed for Im improv, of course, because we have some of the best improvisers working, working on the show, so that would be stupid. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody, yeah, I mean, I think a good, once we get the scene on paper, I think then a good portion of it all is, but is what improvised. But what people don't know is we shoot an episode of the show in two days, so it's like, you don't, we don't have that much time to just like goof around <laughs> other than me yelling bloopers yeah that takes up like one day right there so really we only have like one day to shoot an episode have you thought about expand have you thought about Here expanding it, it to a half hour not a half hour as a show but have you ever had an idea inside of this where you're like oh this could be something that is more substantial and you want to do something different with the show no um, right we, we actually uh paul Shear. Uh, did a show, it was sort of our sister show, NTSF SDSUV. And he said Ray Liotta did their show last season, and Ray Liotta was in the makeup trailer looking through a script, and he was like, where are the rest of the pages? And Paul was like, oh, that's it. That's, that's, all, that's all the pages. We, uh, it's just a, it's a 11 minute show, so. And he's like, 
you guys got to get more pages. <laughs> That's a great Ray Liotta impersonation. <laughs> Thank you. That was just a cheap way to work in my Ray Liotta impression. Uh, yeah, so Thank I think you. if the, anyone has any questions... Wait, uh, wait, I have, oh, some, I have some questions. You do? Oh, look at awesome. this. <laughs> Here we go. Hold the phone. I, I wrote some questions down. Oh, man. Right. I love it. Are we in trouble? I feel like we're in yeah. trouble. Yeah. This is like our boss This boss. is where the axe falls. Yeah. First of all, I'd like to just thank everybody in this room for coming. You, this is, in fact, the best, smartest show I've probably ever seen in my life, and we're so proud uh, to air it. You know, it, it was mentioned earlier, it's won two Emmys. You know, it's been nominated uh, and won uh, the first two Emmys, and then now it's been nominated uh, for the fifth season as, as well. And it, that just goes to show, I mean, you know how great the show is, but many, many other people do as well. And one thing people really don't realize is how well it does in the, in the ratings and how large the audience is. Uh, it, it averages right at a million viewers, um, and that's three times um, any, anybody that's programming in that time period as well. So. It, it's just a testament to what an amazing show this is. And b based on the improv question, I can tell you, I, reading the scripts, they, they write this stuff, which is shocking to me. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, execute against it. It's, it's a phenomenal show, and you know it because you're here. So here's my question. What's the single worst thing you can say about uh, the other actors who are not here today? Great question. Great Finally, question. Finally, that's a great question. That's a great question. Um, well, well, where are we going to start? I mean, yeah, there's who so much start to with? say. Henry Winkler. Ken Marino, yeah. Henry Winkler. Oh, boy. Um, who do well, you, well, you, you want to hear dirt on? Okay. Henry Winkler, he's Nazi. A, he's, he's a, a Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> he's a Nazi. You look it up on Nazi. Wikipedia. By the way, don't quote me on that. I don't know how to use the internet. Yeah. Um, Ken Marino is a woman. <laughs> he is actually biologically a female person. Well, Ken does something uh, that I don't like when we're shooting because it always makes me laugh. There was a clip there of me laughing like an idiot. But he always does this one thing where if you're shooting he'll, um, and you're standing next to him, he'll drop a, a pen or a pencil like right by your feet. And then he'll bend down to get it, and then on the way back up, he'll sniff your dick. He really does. He's like, like, and he just does it like, and he doesn't comment on it. He just does it. So you think he's kidding, but you don't know if he's kidding. So I've that's, seen that. That's annoying. I've seen that scissor reel so many times. My favorite part is watching how annoyed Marino is getting at Hubel when he's blowing takes. Yeah. I can't stop laughing He's sometimes. Getting, he gets really it's upset. A bummer. Another thing only Hubel, not at me. Another cool. thing that's annoying is that Lake Bell is now like a big time movie director. That's yeah. annoying. She's great. She, I mean, she directs the show that's too. That's super annoying. But she's like super, it's annoying that she's going to be like the next huge movie director. She's got it all, yeah. right? And it, she's like, hot. There's no catch. Yeah. Which well, is she's, super annoying about yeah. her. Well, she's super pregnant right now too. That's a, well, that's a bummer. So she can bear a child. Yeah. That's, yeah, she can have kids. She can fly, <laughs> too. Here's another annoying thing. When Malin Ackerman farts, it smells like roses. Yep. It's Everything's delightful. Perfect. It's delightful. Yep. You can um, watch Malin Ackerman and just talk to her. And in the middle of a con conversation, you're thinking in your head, you're beautiful. It's intimidating to talk to that yeah, person. Yeah, you're so And then she gets on camera, and I'm watching the monitors going, Oh God, you're, you got a little bit more beautiful when you went in front of the camera. <laughs> you. Um, who did we leave out? Megan Mullally. Racist. Oh, boy. Racist. She's cool, just don't be <laughs> black, Jewish, Hispanic, or Asian around her. Anything else? Yeah. Um, Aaron is uh, Lynn, Aaron, uh, Dr. Lola Sprout. Aaron Hayes. Aaron. Also racist. Yeah, but. Um, Aaron has an interesting uh, thing. Her hands are very, very wrinkled. Yes. So, you know, next time you see her, go, hey, nice wrinkled hands. <laughs> yeah. You know, that'll Shake get her. Shake her hands and then get really shocked afterwards. Like, yeah. And run away crying. Yeah. She loves that. 
I mean, it's, it is hard to find really good things to criticize about these people because I will say, like, uh, and I'm not trying to, you know, blow smoke, but, like, it's the funnest <laughs> job. It's, like, it really is fun. I, I, it always bums me out that, because when we shoot, we only shoot for, like... 29 days. Yeah, it's so fast. It's, like, yeah. a month. But it's, like, the one thing I look forward to. Because, you know, you work on other projects, and right. it's not that fun. But this <laughs> show is so fun. Everyone is just... Super cool, and now that we got rid of Pill Popper right here, yeah, you know, perfect. I um actually when I was casting the show, I literally my first thought was like, who are people that I'm friends with that I'd want to spend a lot of time with? Who do I want to be around all the time? And that was the first criteria for casting. And then I was like, and they got to be super hot. Um, the f I remember one time in season two, and this sort of sums up the way I feel about the cast. We had to do this one scene, and I forgot what episode it is, but uh, there's like some crisis in the emergency room, and Megan calls everyone in, and she's like, okay, you know, we got, a, we got an ambulance coming in here with all these hurt people, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go out there and do surgery. And she's like getting everybody fired up, and everyone's kind of lined up like soldiers, and then she just goes down the line and starts making out with each person one by one. <laughs> And, like, it was the hardest thing to do because it was cracking me up. But it was so funny that she had to make out with me and then you and then Lake and then No, she's not me. She was, because the reason that I'm not the guy that ever kisses a woman on the show, that I'm the only one that hasn't, is because, um, one, I write a lot of it, and I, I'm not writing myself into that position because that would feel creepy to me. <laughs> like, who, who can I... Who do and I then want a tongue this year. And then she takes her top off, <laughs> and I put sunscreen <laughs> all over her. And then, um, and also, it's a makeup issue too. Like if I'm making up with anybody, they're gonna end up really makeupy, and that's like 15 minutes to fix their face up. So it's just bad, bad business. Um, so that's that's. I don't even remember what the. <laughs> We're talking about. Oh no, I remember. I remember because because Megan's going down the line making out with everyone, and, oh, you're yeah, the, yeah. and you're the last person. She gets to you, and you go, "Why is this part happening?" Just <laughs> <laughs> like the only time we've ever acknowledged that we're in a TV show. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lazo over here, I know, brought uh, some standards notes. Is that right? Because yeah. basically, it's just, it would be hard to tell because Adult Swim gets away with a, a lot of stuff, but there are definitely there's lines to cross, and I don't know, I never knew that they did that much crossing of the line, but Lazo did bring some of his Actual notes, notes from the Actual notes from notes. the standard, so you can see sort of behind the curtain of uh, how ridiculous the whole situation is. And by the way, I will preface this by saying my favorite one that I'm sure you're gonna hear has to do with urine. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I don't have that, but oh, I do shit. have uh, <laughs> The, the, uh, the cutting of the cat and the spilling of the guts will need to remain implied. So Oh, that's a good note. Yeah, we should imply, we shouldn't kill a cat. It's a good note. That makes sense. Yeah. Good call. What else? We may be able to approve uh, Sai painting on the wall with a nondescript brown substance, <laughs> but we shouldn't see anything that looks clearly like feces or pieces of feces. <laughs> Because we're so, going to throw so, a log at the window. That was when he was, he, he was scrawling his name or something in what was supposed to be feces. Poop. <laughs> but it couldn't actually look like that, so it had to be just brownish something. <laughs> Rob, Rob, I do have the urine note Yeah, it's, good, it's a good one. It's oh, my thank favorite God. one. Oh, thank God you have that. We should not see urine hitting the assistant. <laughs> Yeah. So. Is, there, do, is there an addendum to that? Because yes. no, it just they means. also said, and if urine hits anything, the urine should be no darker than a, than a healthy wheat color <laughs> or honey. <laughs> so, All right, just uh, in case you want to know what you can get away with in terms of pee. Uh, Mr. Hubel, uh, we need more clarification on the staging of Val Fingering Owen. <laughs> yep, I remember that episode. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's an episode that I wrote, I think, where she was fingering me. She's fingered a lot of people. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. There's it's all a, a blur. There are only 15 minutes left. Uh, is, are there questions? If oh, yeah. there are, this would be a There's a, a microphone here in the middle. If you have a legitimate question, it doesn't have to be about urine or feces or anything like that. It could be a real question. Look at this guy. Give it up for this guy, everyone. Look at this guy right here. Yeah. First guy. He's not afraid. He's the guy that always spoke in class, and you were like, ugh, this guy again. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. Uh, I'm curious, what synagogue is Rabbi Jewy affiliated with? Uh, Beth Israel, Temple okay. Beth Israel. Oh, excellent. You don't think Rabbi Jewy McJuju is a real name? <laughs> oh, I, sound... I wish it was. I want to change my name to Rabbi Jewy. Doesn't Ju sound legit. Yeah. All right. I wouldn't change your name to Rabbi oh. Jewy McJuju. Why Just not? As a friend. Okay. Not going to do it anymore. Cool, cool. Thank you for your question. Yes, man in the crazy hat. Yes, thank you. Um, you. Boy, you got a diaper on your head. <laughs> of course. Um, so I was always wondering why uh, the first few seasons when it was mainly a children's hospital and you were in Brazil, as everybody knows, um, why you guys never did like a, a boys from Brazil type thing? Like there was a huge accident and now all the doctors have to treat a bunch of little Hitlers in the hospital. Why did that never happen? It, oh, it's come up. Uh, for sure. It comes up all the time. Whenever we get a new writer or anybody writing a script for the first time, they're like, really want to dive into the whole Brazil thing. But <laughs> Brazil is a joke best served up very lightly. I, uh, I do have an anecdote. I have, oh. So as you bring up, as you brought up there, Brazil is, is the hospital that it takes place in. Now, for one episode, for one walk and talk with between Hubel and Marino, they're like, let's go get a churro. So they walk outside, and Rob said, well, let's film this one walk and talk in every monument actually in Brazil. So it's what, like, not, it's a 30 second scene. So we Less. flew, we flew so, to Brazil for like six hours. Do you know yeah. how far away that is from Los Angeles? It's like four days on a plane. <laughs> yeah. It and, was, you know, because we were like, people are going to go crazy. We're really in Brazil. You know how many people have commented on that? Zero. <laughs> so, there's one, there's one shot, so you, we did it at the monument, you know, the Cristo monument, another thing is obviously the favelas, which are the slums, with all the, you know, the crazy hills in Brazil. And you guys saw the World Cup, you know what we're yeah, talking yeah. about. So, Rob says, let's shoot down there. And we wanted this one crazy shot that's from the top of the hill that would then really overlook and show the sort of entirety of the favelas and do this crazy zoom in. And I was the extra. And we're down in the middle of the slums, and the bit is that they walk past me, uh, and they're like, hey, what's going on, Dr. Nick, or whatever. Yep. And, and I'm thrown, as they go, you know, walk past me, I'm then thrown into a back of a car because He's it's got Brazil, a bag. and I'm, yeah, they throw a bag on my head, yeah. and they throw me into a back of a van, like, in the, in the bit that I get kidnapped He gets abducted Brazil. in Brazil. <laughs> And we're doing this in this really, really, really terrible part of town. And where, after where abductions happen yeah, all, the time. all the time. All the time. And so the the Brazilian SWAT teams immediately <laughs> just come in and, and sort of, I guess, sort of take over this whole day because they don't understand why that's funny. <laughs> that that we oh, it's gonna be such a great bit. And so yeah, two times into this take, yeah. someone out the window is like, holy shit. Don't, uh, don't you know kidnapped. that our, our neighborhood is controlled by drug lords and gangsters and this is not funny to us? <laughs> We're like, it's for comedy in America on cable at midnight. You guys get it. <laughs> All right, do you have another, uh, an, uh, did you have another question? Is there no anyone else? else? No I'll, I'll ask more stuff, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> you still have a diaper on your head, you know that, right? Okay. Somebody so, else get up there fast. So, um, uh, for, uh, this question's for Rob, actually. Um, I was great seeing you on uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, Are you talking to me? Yeah, well, Rob Hubel, yes, of course, sorry. Well, you know, his name is Rob Which, also. That's, that's so. a, the crazy part <laughs> about this whole thing, really, is that we are... <laughs> yeah. I can't say it without laughing. We're both named Rob. He does this. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Here I, we I, go. Anyway, go, crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 But it, it was great seeing so, yeah. Mr. Hubel on Questions Agents about Shield. the world of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Coulson is going to get murdered. In, <laughs> no, I have no idea. So um, my question was, um, did you, did you, were, are you a, a fan of the comics, or did they approach you? Um, also, I've noticed whenever I see you in anything not Children's Hospital, because of Children's Hospital, I... I can't really take it seriously because you're, you're <laughs> <hilarious>. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, no, go. I get that there a lot. I get that a lot. Uh, thank you. you. By the way, you can go to the back of the line now. But uh, <laughs> no, yeah, uh, yeah. I was on Agents of Shield, and it was not a comedic part. And sometimes when I show up in a TV show that is not funny, it's distracting <laughs> to people, and myself included. I watch it, and I'm like, okay, well. Yeah, The Descendants, that George Clooney movie, yeah. loved it right up until Hubel's so on you the see screen. Me, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I when's, don't that, it. when's that kind of guy gonna yell bloopers? <laughs> Yes, sir, yes. with the Eric Andre shirt. Um, hey, Mr. Cordry. Uh, okay, a few years back, and <laughs> are you guys going to take the uh, theater episode that you did and actually put it on tour like you promised three years ago? What was it? Oh, jeez. Oh. Really, uh, Throwback. Can, can someone repeat the aggressive question? Really? Okay. The play. The, the, um, the episode we did called Children's Hospital, a play in three acts. Oh, Apparently three years ago, I promised this gentleman that we were going to do a tour of that. And uh, yeah, I promise. I promise we're going to do it. So come back next year. <laughs> all right? And then you owe me money if we do it. You owe me $1,000. Yes. That would be fun to do, a, to do a live children's hospital show would be fun. Let's, yeah. ri let's write that down. Write that down. Right. We'll, we'll yeah. make a note of it on our phones. That died. Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, as we all saw from the video, you guys are so funny. There's so much that would end up in bloopers. What amount of stuff that you shoot actually ends up in an episode, and what what just got like? How much do you shoot depending on how much you actually oh, put in an man. episode? Oh man, that's a good yeah, question. Yeah, it is a great question. We I'm editing right now, and a lot of times these end episodes, the editors will cut a rough version, or the director will cut their first version based on what's in the script and their favorite stuff. And they're like, this is gonna be an 11 minute, 15 second show at the very most. And some of them, we got one was like 16 minutes. And it's fun to watch the first time, but then you're like, uh, you gotta, your job is to cut a lot of great stuff. So, so much, so much, so much gets cut. Right down to the bare story Bits. The, the trick is just to talk fast. Talk fast. Like exactly. really fast. Yeah. Which is not really a great trick because people catch on to that. <laughs> and also the stoners that watch this show are like, why is everybody talking so fast? <laughs> do, do you think that hurts at all? I mean, um, it, it is maybe the densest show we have. And do you, I mean, do you ever go through there and say, this just needs to be 60 minutes? <laughs> Are you got wait, are you giving us more minutes? Well, you know, I, <laughs> are you giving us more pages? Yeah, you just get more. <laughs> you more guys pages? got 12 more pages. <laughs> um, no, you know what? It is really our fault uh, because we our first versions of the script, our rough drafts, will just be way too long. So I've actually like I have a spreadsheet where I analyzed the the page count of different versions. What it, what it clocked in at the table read, what the script supervisor's time was, and I'm comparing them all, and it's color-coded, and I've just realized we just gotta start with fewer pages. And we can do it, it's just, you know, it's fun to How write. How long it. is the typical scene? Like, what's your average scene? Oh, I mean, if we, you know, our typical scene is like one page or less. Um, wow. But we, we are longest, and these are usually the big group scenes that have a lot of plot to them are never more than three pages. That's 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 way that's really long for us. Wow. All right. Yes. Hi. Oh uh, hi. Thank you oh for hi. Being here. <laughs> hi. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Um, so you guys are. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you're actually kind of talking about what my question was going to be. Um, pages. Yeah, I kind of. First of all, uh, of, can you go into detail paper. why exactly you guys chose to do it short format? And then, um, in the event that any of you have any uh, direct experience with that side of the process, um, how did that affect kind of putting you in unusual categories as far as things like the Emmys or you know going up against full-length TV shows? Like, how does that work since you guys are a lot shorter than the standard? 30-minute show. Yeah, well, I, I, when we started, if I remember correctly, uh, they, you guys were like, just do, you can do as long as you want. Yeah. And I was so, when we were a five-minute web series, I swore that this would never be a TV show. 
And then it only was a TV show, basically, because there's an adult swim. Uh, and there's a 15-minute format. So I, I am swearing now that it'll never be longer than 15 minutes because, I, first of all, I'm not sure if that brand of comedy is sustainable, sustainable past it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know if you want to see 22 minutes of that. Um, you might. I don't know if somebody else can do it. I don't want to do it. We, you, this guy, the guy that wants us to go on tour can do it. <laughs> but, yeah, but the part B of your question is, yeah, we're in a different category for Emmys. Uh, we're in, like, a short-form category, which we <laughs> rule that category. <laughs> but meanwhile, we got shows, you know, longer shows that start wars with us, like these uh, pussies over at Game of Thrones are always talking shit about us. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I I'll go on the record, and I don't know about Cordry, but if anybody from Game of Thrones wants to fight us, we'll fight you. I will throw down with any of the pussies on the Game of Thrones cast. Yeah. Right here, in the middle of Comic-Con, I will fight them. Yeah, we get it. You got ravens and dragons, big deal. Sorry, that's... It, Personal. Sorry, it's a personal, just a personal issue. Thing. They shouldn't have brought it up. They've been talking trash, and it really gets this, my goat. This Dothraki shoved my head in a urinal earlier today. <laughs> Dr. Downs. Uh, hi. I know this is really difficult in a show like this, but what's been one of your favorite improv moments that made it into the show? Oh, uh, you and I had a fun run season four, I think, where we're talking about the kid... A kid in bed, and we had this rapid fire improv. Oh yeah, when I we I was like, uh, uh, why don't why don't we wake him up? And you said, no, no, don't wake him up. And I said, why don't we why don't we check him for pubic hair? And it, like basically, I was just coming up yeah. with crazy things, yeah. and you were like, no, don't. That's a terrible idea. Dare, don't no, do that. never check him for. Why pubic don't we draw a Hitler mustache on him? No, don't know. <laughs> yeah. So that that's one of the most memorable ones. I yeah, know. it's pretty. I mean, like I, I gotta say too that Megan Mullally is the funniest person I mean yeah. she has there I, I mean everyone on the show is so funny but like sometimes people will just come up with stuff that you know they're just trying to make you laugh or maybe this is just my personal thing because I, I always laugh on camera but like Megan was doing this thing this season where she had one sharp fingernail and the, and the whole episode she's following me around and threatening me like she's gonna like cut my throat if I do something and so and then there's so there's one shot where they put the camera on her and they just wanted her to like, you know, show her fingernail. And she kept doing it a different way. She would go like this. And then she'd go. And it just kills me. Yeah. We have time for one more question. Okay, um, I've watched the show since the beginning. And um, what I noticed right away was this amazing cast that you have. But what I can't understand is how you get them to come back every season because they're so busy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use like a trank gun or are we, they locked in the basement? We or? pay them many hundreds of dollars. <laughs> um, no, yeah. like I said before, we're all friends. And, and I'm pretty sure I can speak for everyone when I say it's, like Hubel said, it's a lot of fun to do. Um, and so it's really just like, a, a party on camera. I also want to, there's one, what was that? One second. Oh, the one, yes, last question. Let's take one, let's, Batman yeah. has a question. Uh, if you guys can do a Are lot. you the real Batman? Hold on. Or Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys do a, uh, a live children's hospital at UCB, like that would be insane. Please do that. Um, Thank I'm you. not promising no, you no, because I, I got into trouble well, last no. time I made a promise. Well, and, and yeah, like you say, like the cast is insane. That would be good, fun. So scheduling it would be tough. But um, just as far as the improv stuff goes, how much of that is on set and how much is in the room? Because I know that the improv is going to inform the writing, but uh, how much uh, time do you really have on set to do uh, improv? Are you looking at me? Um, yeah. You know, I feel like uh, the scripts. Uh, when we go in to shoot, the scripts are already really solid. Like, I look at the scripts, and I'm like, oh, this is great. Because a lot of times... Perfect. You, but, I mean, for real, like, a lot of times, if you're doing... Like, like if I'm doing, like, a sitcom thing, where, like, you'll look at it and be like, all right, this is all right. But, th but this show, I feel like it's always so funny. And so then you get that right away when we're shooting. And then, you know, if we have time, then you just try to top those jokes. So I feel like you have time to do it if you if you come up with something on the spot, but there's no pressure to do that. Yeah. 
yeah. um, but we certainly have the, the uh, oh, time no, to do yeah. it. Also, quickly, just one last point. Like, I, there's oftentimes we'll write something, and when we're writing it, we can't figure out the joke. And we're, you know, we, we feel it's a very safe environment because we're like, yeah, we'll just figure, they'll figure that out on set. And they always do. So but, thank you, everybody. Well, hold on one so second much. before you one, leave. One final announcement. Yeah, just, just so you know, uh, two weeks, Children's Hospital and Newsreaders are back on the air at midnight. And uh, we have a new ep, uh, a new season of uh, Newsreaders coming November 6th, which uh, Rob uh, That's our spin -off. produced. And by the way, Nick came back to Atlanta once, and he said they had been talking about spinning off that. And so it has actually now become a series, and it's, it's pretty great uh, as well. Then the, the sixth season of Children's, uh, we'll start uh, this March coming up. And March. Adult, and Adult Swim has a giant fun house and weird dome that you should all check out. It's pretty incredible. Thank you guys so much for coming. And Hubel's giving out free kisses outside. We really, really, really Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for watching Thank the you. show, you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. watching so much.